Welcome to HBCU Kingdom I Am No End Situation. Now today we're going to be talking about a player that went to Alabama A&M University, played for the Indianapolis Colts. We're going to be talking about Robert Mathis, but first, run that intro. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for yeah, man, we back. Hey, look, man, Robert Mathis, man, you know, Alabama a and Now, they say he could be one of the last players from an HBCU to go to the NFL Hall of Fame. Now, look, he was a Super Bowl champion, first-time All-Pro, five-time Pro Bowl, Deacon Jones Awards winner, three-time NFL force fumble leader. He's in the Indianapolis Coast Ring of Honor, and his number 55 is retired. Out of Alabama and them Bulldogs, of course. So, you know, he also has the most career force fumbles, 54, and the most force fumbles in the season, which is 10, which is tied with OCU Minora and Charles Peanut Tillman. Of course, people know who Charles Peanut Tillman is, the cornerback that always punches the ball out when he plays with the Bears and things of that nature. So, you know, his career NFL stats, 538 tackles, 123 sacks, 54 forced fumbles, 17 fumble recoveries, one interception, and one defensive touchdown. So, this man here was an absolute beast on the field. You know, crazy numbers. He did amazing thing with the coach. He was a great player. And then, like I said, you know, I appreciate you guys watching my video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time.